the wedge tool allows you to refine a primitive corner into what I refer to as a wedge. Make sure you have a single manifold edge selected, which has at least one end splitting off into exactly two more edges. In this case here, both ends of the edge have two connected edges, and so I can flip the wedge using the F key. The status bar should give you all the information you require in regards to the options you have. The tool works in two steps. First you pick the side of the edge you want to create the wedge on, and define the wedge area, by moving your mouse, which always points at the wedge corner. Once happy with the wedge area, click and hold to define the wedge depth. Release to finish the tool. Let's do that again. Here again, I'm going to flip the wedge. If you change your wedge in a way that its quad face becomes non-planar, consider using the flatten tool to fix this. Wedges don't have to be subtracting, you can also use them additively. This tool is not boolean based, so doing this is very straightforward. And while I'm overdoing it here a bit already, you can really use this tool to chisel away at your object, and I'd invite you to experiment. Now, by default the wedge axis will always be orthogonal to the selected edge. You can change this by pressing the S key, which will allow you to slide the wedge corner, thereby angling the axis. By default, the wedge tool will also ensure the quad face is planar. And although I wouldn't recommend it, you can toggle this using the E key. For clarity, the wedge sides will be drawn in red, to let you know you are creating a non-planar face. If you want to further refine a wedge, you can do it like this. It can be a good idea to really widen the axis part of it. 